Hello, welcome, Kasia here. Today I'm very, very, very excited uh, to show you our next set of stamps that we designed and then created together with Paper Artsy. So here it is. Uh, it's different, I know, and it needs, I think, a little bit of an explanation. So I'm very happy to do that today. Uh, these are two color wheels and the idea for them came from Jamie, who could see uh, me struggling with color wheels always because I really love colors, you know, I like combining them, creating my own color palettes and creating my own color wheels. But like I said, I was always struggling because uh, to have a nicely balanced color wheel, you have to have all of these triangles in the same size so you can understand how colors work together. None of them is dominating and you can see how they look together as well. Uh, so uh, to draw a perfect color wheel with perfect triangles, I had to always, you know, strange tools involved <laughs> and I was drawing, drawing and it isn't that bad and it isn't that difficult but when you want to make like 20 color wheels to try your favorite color combinations or color combinations for a new project then it takes some time and it's uh, you know it's a pain i wouldn't uh, be bothered most of the times then i could of course also print out a color wheel but that i could do only on a very thin paper like a copier paper i could never do that on a proper watercolor hot, pre hot pressed paper because my printer wouldn't take it. So I was always limited by that, couldn't make color wheels with watercolors. So then Jamie had this fabulous idea of creating a stamp that is a color wheel, a stamp that you can use on every surface, on a glass to work with uh, paints for glass, on uh, glossy paper for alcohol inks, on watercolor, thick watercolor paper for good watercolors, and any other kind of paper or surface you want so you can uh, create with any media you like so that was really a good idea there are two color wheels on this uh, set one is smaller and the idea was very simple as well um, to uh, have a smaller color wheel that you can try mixing colors on uh, like here you can see that i have a color wheel this one is on a very dark paper with for some reason uh, quite light blue ink I stamped and uh, I did that for my pastels, soft pastels, to see how they work together on a dark paper, this color of paper. So on a big wheel I have few colors but on a small wheel I tried mixing them. So like for example you can see on this little triangle I mixed this yellowish green and this cadmium like uh, yellow together just to see how they how they like I said like how they look together and here same with this salmon like pink and teal just to see uh, how these two colors mix together so that's a big help uh, of course I made a little hole with the crocodile put an eyelet so it's you know very mm, useful little tool uh, so that is like the most obvious use of these uh, two stamps. Like you can see here, I made just a few color wheels just to try some colors. You know, it color wheel, it doesn't mean that you have to put uh, yellow, blue and red on them and try to mix them. You don't have to. You can just try your own uh, palettes, your own ideas. Uh, I love to get inspired by nature, by photographs, saying, trying to see colors rather than shapes and then creating in the same palette, but something completely different. So that's a good idea. I love uh, using color wheels on my mood boards, on my notice boards. Uh, why not make a color wheel one for a month, you know, your favorite colors this month, put it on your mood board and just try to work around it, try to get inspired by these colors and uh, create using them. I think it's a very good idea. Just your own very little personal inspiration. Another great idea how I love using my color wheels is when I am um, starting a project, especially a project that needs some thinking and planning and I'm not really fancy experimenting with colors 
on almost ready piece you know like a big canvas or like here I've got an example a little um, clay uh, clay thing to put on, put on your wall that I made for Jamie uh, so I made the shape out of the clay and let it to dry for a few days and then I wasn't really you know happy to start like I said experimenting on a ready piece uh, didn't want to you know make a mistake or just wanted to look just wanted to look nice so while this was drying I decided to make few color wheels uh, just to try what works best for me because it's not only about you know rules and and what is right or wrong but also about what we like so I knew that uh, for this project I want to use three uh, dark blues two dark blues and one emerald green so I put them on this color wheel and then I started experimenting. There were more color wheels, but this one is the one that won. Uh, so because I decided that these just look the nicest. Uh, and then all I had to do was just to grab my paintbrush and, and start painting. I added some beads, as you can see, in, in these colors. So that was easier. And it was so much, like I said, easier, so much easier. I didn't have to worry, uh, shall I paint on this, you know, almost ready piece or not, try this color or not, because I could make so many color wheels. I like the form of the color wheel that it's round and that you can perfectly see how colors work together, not only colors next to each other, as like you can do uh, in your journal, for example, but how they look together, all of them together. Uh, I think having it as a stamp is just a very easy way to, to create a lot of them. Uh, another example of how I got inspired by colors to create uh, in our journal page. Oh, by the way, this is another idea that I had for these little color rules, these ones, is uh, to make little bookmarks, you see? It's very simple and very nice. I just uh, cut out two uh, small color wheels, paint them the, painted them inside, glued together, but only in a half. And now they're like really, really nice little bookmark. They look so, so gorgeous, I think. Okay, so uh, our journal, here I got one spread. First, see, I uh, created this color wheel. Uh, I was just trying to think about what colors do I feel good in today, you know, what do I want to create. So I put three of them, these are eco lines, on the color wheel, decided that they look really good together and started adding some different materials and textures. Uh, this is one of these triangle stamps that you can see here. Uh, and I, I thought, well, it works very well together, so why not, uh, an art, why not make an art journal spread? And this is what I have done. Uh, it was just easy, you know, it was going so fast because all I had to think is what I want to put on, on my page rather than which colors will that go well or not. Everything was ready. So that's a really good idea and it's a big help, I think. In my second art journal, I, I work the opposite way. Here I've got, it's my everyday art journal, so it might not be as glamorous, but here I have a picture that I decided to glue, stick in my art journal because I really, really liked it. I like the mood on the picture, of course, the girl, the way she looks on the floor, but also just the colors, this green, blue, mm, very cold. So uh, as much like I said, as I like the, the uh, figure and the whole room on the picture, I wanted to try these colors only, just f practice seeing colors rather than shapes. So I uh, stamped a few color wheels here and very quickly I could start putting some watercolors, some oil pastels I have here, some crayons. Uh, on my color wheels, try to re uh, recreate same color palette. Uh, and it was really inspiring because I didn't have to worry about, you know, measuring and 
uh, all this boring stuff because I could just stamp, stamp and paint, paint and try to find out what works best for me and what is really on this picture that uh, is so appealing to me. Is it the purple? Is it the blue with green? Or, or what is it? So I very quickly found out what I like the most and that led me to another just very simple painting that I've done here. Nothing, you know, special, but I just, just being inspired by these colors, started painting some watercolor uh, flowers um, because I think I thought that these uh, colors just work together so well that I just have to give it a go and and turn this picture to something completely different and completely mine so that was you know like a little path from one project to another thanks to color wheels really you know, possibilities are endless for these color wheels. Uh, I think this is very versatile set of stamps. Uh, you can think about interior designers, you can think about people who like to sell cushions, kilts, dresses. You can try different materials, not only colors, it's not only paints, but you got this beautiful, perfect form of color wheel. So you can cut pieces of, of material to check if colors that you want to use on your cushion, for example, or on your patchwork will work well or maybe not so well. It's so much easier to make few color wheels, especially if you can stamp them, uh, than, uh, you know, change the whole thing that is almost finished because this one color just doesn't work as, as well as you were expecting. So, so try this, like I said, uh, thanks to the fact that it's a stamp, you can stamp on every surface. So I think it is the second name for this stamp should, set, set of stamps should be uh, possibilities are endless. There are also these triangles, as you noticed. Um, I will just show you now how the stamp work. I've got a big wheel here and some archival ink in black. Okay, and now if you if you like to add some to personalize your wheel, you can add some of these triangles to make it you know more yours because it's not always colors. Um, it can look very interesting, I think. There is some writing, there is some print, there is a map. Oh, I love a map. Remember, we're on Wanderlust, so map is a very important <laughs> thing. So just to personalize and make it special, uh, I think it's a great fun. That's the most important thing. So this is this is how these triangles work. Uh, think about this color wheel not only as a very functional stamp, which is pretty original I think but also as a focal point on your design of your card or I don't know you can use even the small little wheel as a tag for a present or big wheel to stamp on the wrapping paper fill it with colors for somebody who likes colors who's a, a bit of a, a an artist it's gonna be a very nice nicely wrapped present I think on the same set, you also have three months, like always we do, uh, because we like our journaling. So there is July, August and September. So when you're making your journal page in July, you can stamp July in the corner. So it's remembered, so you know that it was July and you don't have to worry. And also all of your pages are very coherent on, in your art journal because they have this one element that always repeats. I really like these stamps because they are very like irregular, this uh, writing is. Okay, and there is also a little paintbrush that I really, really love. Uh, it's also like this big color wheel. It can be a great focal point for all of your stamps, tags, pages. And it's just something we love, you know, paint brushes. And this one's pretty original. I think it's a little bit different, it's slightly grungy. Uh, definitely looks like it was used so that's a good thing <laughs> about it and uh, last but not least one of the 
Uh, my favorite things on this set of stamps are these words. Each one of them is a separate little stamp, as you can see here. You have to just cut them to, to separate them. And uh, they say, I believe in gratitude, people, freedom, beauty, change, compassion, serenity, friendship, and some more. I think uh, I was inspired by actually the prayer flags that we, uh, that was my class for May, I think, on Wanderlust, uh, when we were sending a message to the universe, to the world on our prayer flags. Uh, and I thought, well, it's a, it's a nice uh, thing to do, not only on prayer flags, but also in our, our journals. So uh, I think perfect for a journaling, really, these stamps are. Let me just put, I believe in friendship. If you're given a, a making a tag for your friend, that's a great thing to put on it. The writing is also irregular, just like I like it with a little bit more uh, character. Okay, so these were these are our new stamps. One more thing I want to tell you is that our Wanderlust online class is on sale until the end of July. So you don't have much time to join if you still didn't. If you did, you know how fabulous it is and how great the whole atmosphere on the community is. But like I said, you can still join if you didn't. You're gonna get uh, full access to all videos that were already published and of course full access to those that are going to be published. They are all downloadable so you can uh, enjoy them forever, really. And in September, we are going to work with colors. Uh, we will be uh, learning about mixing them, about uh, color rules, so we will surely use uh, these stamps and uh, I'm pretty sure you will all enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, these stamps are now available at retailers. I hope you'll enjoy them and have some fun. Thank you.